Hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today as you can probably tell we are going to be waxing our skin today and removing all our unwanted hair in just few seconds resulting in very smooth silky and beautiful glowing skin. In this video I'm going to be talking about the hard wax very very easy to use without any hassle which means you don't need any kind of strips or any other person to do this to you it's just that easy and i kid you not this is my first time waxing at home and i thought i would share with you my experience tips and tricks and the things like that so if you would like to see and know about this hard waxing kit and techniques to do this to yourself at home then please keep watching and please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and the button is just down there which is absolutely free now let's get straight into the tutorial so before starting the waxing you have to know about this hard waxing kit that i bought off of amazon and i will leave the link in the info box down below and this is everything you need for waxing kit box from trust wellness which is extremely easy to use and i didn't know about the goodness of this hard wax until i got my hands on this kit and you will get these incredible wax beans sample sachets of different flavors for our beginners to try out and see which suits our skin types perfectly and yes it does come with manual as well on how to use this hard wax on different parts of the body including face and also we have this wax wooden sticks in this kit as well for free because no waxing strips are needed for this waxing as it is a hard wax and also this kit comes with pre and post waxing sprays that are so helpful for people who doesn't know about the pre and post care of the skin and then of course wax warmer that you can carry anywhere with you just it's just so compact and so easy to carry now without further ado let's get straight into the waxing process so most importantly you have to do this on bare floor just in case if you have any wax melt outs on the floor it would be very easy to clean up later and do not do this on beds or carpets now i'm gonna plug this wax warmer and set the temperature to the highest i'm taking blue and green wax beans here for my waxing today which are in peppermint and eucalyptus flavors that smells super super incredible and makes the whole waxing process relaxing now i'm gonna mix these beans until it becomes a little sticky like you can see here with wooden stick and then leave the beans to melt completely and meanwhile i'm going to prep my skin for the waxing and i have been growing my hair for like two months to show it to guys how this whole waxing process works it's just super super hairy right now and also this is my first time doing my waxing at home and i wanted to document everything and then i'm taking pre-wax spray and i'm spraying this all over my skin and for whatever weird reason this pre-wax spray helps the hairs stick onto the wax so perfectly this is just amazing and the most basic use of pre-wax care is to get rid of any oils bacteria sweat and dust and it's important not to skip this step as these oils and sweat prevent thorough hair removal due to previous oils and creams applied so if you skip it that's when infections rashes and more gets in track so don't skip it so once i spray that i spread that all over the skin until it gets fully absorbed into the skin and here as you can see the wax beans are almost melted and it formed a beautiful teal color the consistency should be very perfect you shouldn't have these chunky bits of lumps it has to be in proper consistency and at this stage you have to decrease the temperature to the lowest and this makes the wax to be in the right consistency throughout the process and not super hot but warm and relaxing and now it has reached the perfect consistency but first just to be sure always take some wax and check the temperature if it's too hot before dumping the big amount of wax because you don't want to obviously burn out your skin so be careful and check the temperature always and once the wax is nice and warm i'm going to pick the wax with the help of the wooden stick and dump big amount of wax on the same spot like you can see here and then spread the wax straightly and neatly and once the wax is hard enough to touch flick the wax at the end and peel the wax in quick fast 
motion and put the pressure on the skin once you peel to relieve the sting if you know what i mean and prevent bruising and make skin less sensitive to touch And my skin is super smooth right now and feels so soft and velvety to touch and i have this little close-up clip for you on how this whole waxing process worked And once you finish waxing your skin, take the after wax or post wax spray and spray this all over the waxed skin and spread across. And this helps treat common things that occur after waxing while cooling and calming the skin and protects against irritation by supporting the skin's natural defenses. And this, you guys, is the final result. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this waxing tutorial video. Please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And the button is just right here on the screen. And also like this video if you do. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.